Good day everyone, today I am going to illustrate to you the probability of compound events. When we say compound event, it is a combination of two or more simple events. Let's say we have our event A, then event B. Then we're going to find the relationship between the two events. So we have, in this lesson, we have uh, three units. Uh, we have the lesson one, union of two events, A and B. Afterward, we're going to illustrate that, the intersection of two events, A and B, and mutually exclusive events. Now, let, let us illustrate the union of two events, A and B. In your grade seven lesson, we have the union, or in this union of two events, this can also be written as A, a union B A union B and if we're going to write in our Venn diagram so let's say this is our A event A and event B getting their inter uh, getting their union so we're going to shade 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 both A and B. That is the intersection of two events A and B or simply A union B. Now let's have the intersection of two events A and B. So intersection we use the this symbol and the union we have the U. Okay. This is denoted by A intersection B. To illustrate in our Venn diagram, if we have our event A and event B getting their intersection, so the common in both A and B. So the common is their intersection. Okay, that's the intersection. And if A and B cannot occur simultaneously, we have this mutually exclusive event. So we have to illustrate, we have our Venn diagram. Let's say we have A and B. Okay, that is the mutually exclusive event. So A intersection B is equal to empty set. That means they don't have intersection, our event A and event B. Now let's have some problems and determine whether the problems are mutually exclusive event or not. Now let's have these exercises. Determine whether the given compound events are mutually exclusive or not. Again, when we say mutually exclusive, if A and B cannot occur simultaneously, or simply A intersection B is an empty set. Okay? Number one, selecting a girl and selecting a curly haired person in a class. Mutually exclusive or not? So, not mutually exclusive. Not mutually exclusive. Why? Because that girl can be a curly haired person. So we have, uh, if that's the case, so there is a common. She's a girl and a curly one. Okay, that's why we have not mutually exclusive. Next, drawing a queen of spades and drawing a heart card from a deck of cards. So we have 52 cards in a deck of cards. And, of course, a queen of spades is different from a heart cards. So, that is mutually 
exclusive. So there is no common if we're going to draw a queen of spades from a deck of cards and uh, a drawing a heart card in a deck of cards. Next number three, getting an even number and getting a number less than three from a single roll of die. So in a single roll of die, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. If we're going to get an even number, our even numbers are two, four, and six. Then getting a number less than three. So less than three. So our common is two. So that is not mutually exclusive. We have our common, which is two. And last, selecting a required course and selecting an elective course. So in getting a required course and elective course, there is no common subject between the two. There is no common subject, so that is mutually exclusive. Okay. So that is on how to determine whether the given compound event is a mutual exclusive or not. In our next video, we're going to discuss um, the union of two events A and B, and of course, our rules. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.